guys welcome back to all and unlaw this is o b g y n and today we're going to talk about an important test that is clear that test okay so you might have heard of this and you don't know the value is white is done so let me summarize you guys so this is a blood test okay it's used to measure what you call uh, the amount of fetal hemoglobin fetal hemoglobin that has transferred from fetus to the mother's blood okay means what happens we take mother's blood okay then we examine her blood and by doing blood, what you call kb test that's a clear clear blood k test and in which we come to know that what is the amount of fetal hemoglobin has transferred into mother's uh, blood okay uh, what is the use of this is uh, this helps in what you call calculation of the uh, required dose of uh, what you call rhod immunoglobulin rh o d immunoglobulin okay immunoglobulin right so we we that helps in uh, what you call the calculation of this dose of this entire id okay guys so um, it's remember it's performed only in what you call our uh, rhesus negative mothers rhesus means rh negative okay Rh negative mothers to determine that this dose okay why it's done because if we know the dose exact dose then we can prevent what the formation of Rh antibodies in the mother and prevent Rh diseases in a future Rh positive children okay so that's the reason we do this uh, clear heart back test okay KB test right guys so let me summarize let me tell you how it's done I'm not gonna go in detail that how exactly it is done the metal blood is subjected to a, an acid solution known as a citric acid phosphate buffer citric acid phosphate buffer okay so acid will elute the adult hemoglobins but not the fetal hemoglobins from the red cells hence what happens the fetal red cells appear strained dark red unlike the what you call light colored maternal uh, red cells let me draw here if these are the cells of the mother you take out the sample okay and the fetal they appear very red dark red actually i'm drawing green in color but remember it's going to be very dark red so this is going to be fetal red cells okay and this is maternal red cells okay so look at the color difference it's a fetal red cells going to be very dark red whereas uh, what you call uh, the maternal blood cells will be rbcs will be what you call a uh, light colored cells okay so what happens then we take what you call um, we examine this under a microscope light microscope okay examine under the light microscope and the number of fetal red cells in 50 low power field is assessed it's assessed in a 50 low power fields low power fields is assessed okay we will count the number of fetal red cells so if there are what you call if there are 80 fetal red cells 80 fetal red cells in what you call a 50 low power fields it represents fetal maternal bleed means there is a bleeding from the what you call a fetal hemoglobin to the maternal means there is a mixing of fetal uh, rbcs or blood into the maternal blood okay uh, so what happens is indicates of a 4 ml of 4 ml of fetal blood transfer fetal blood transfer okay guys so this is really very important if there are 80 fetal red cells in 50 low power fields it represents fetal maternal bleed of 4 ml of fetal blood okay got it guys so we calculate the dose around what you call 100 microgram of anti-d 
That's the reason we do this test to calculate the dose of anti D. And this 100 microgram of anti D will neutralize 4 ml of fetal maternal bleed. Means 100 microgram is required for this 80. If you see 80 fetal red cells in a 50 low power fields. Right, guys? And if the volume of the fetal maternal hemorrhage is more than 30 ml, more than 30 ml, remember. Okay, the dose of RH immunoglobulin is calculated as 10 microgram, 10 microgram for every 1 ml of fetal whole blood. For every 1 ml of fetal whole blood. So, got it, guys? So, this is regarding the what you call um, KB test, that's a Clehor Betke test. I just simplified the test, how it is done, and what are the interpreting values, okay? If the volume of the fetal maternal hemorrhage is more than 30 ml of whole blood, the dose of RH immunoglobulin is calculated as 10 micrograms for every 1 ml of fetal whole blood. That's it guys. This is a basic idea of what you call Clay Hub but K test. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.